Welcome to episode seven. This is the episode that I talk to you about the breakup song. The year is 2017. The ID Nation is, is, is beginning to establish themselves as a force to reckon with in the industry. We have now had four to five consecutive years of consistency and relevance. But I feel now it's time to change the game. At least for me, or change my direction. So the breakup song is created. Sham and I are sitting down in Toronto and Sham is talking to one of his friends and his friend is celebrating a breakup. He's like, man, my shorty just came in the room and she broke up with me and I pretended like I was all sad. But when she left the room, I was like, hell yeah, I'm, it's over. I'm done. I'm happy. So we, we released a song in June in Antigua. The song becomes a big song in Antigua. It becomes one of those anthems where you could, where you could just, you don't have to be sad about a breakup. You're happy this person is out your life your life is better their life is better Woohoo! celebration i had reached out to patrice in june he was not the best he was not in the best space at that particular time when he called you know so i remember him calling saying hey i know we are not a hundred um but i'm about to release a song it's just called the breakup song and i want you to know that the song is not about you so Hence the reason I'm calling, so that you can at least hear it and we could talk about it so that you know that the song is not about you. After he released the song, the question that was on everybody's mind is, is this song for Patrice Roberts? Because the fact that they had a child together and in the public domain, it wasn't really known if they're in a relationship, if they're not in a relationship if they decided to co-parent or not or, or whatever you understand everybody just wanted to know the business basically and carnival is bacchanal so that that bacchanal was just running rampant you understand even though patsy and ricardo tried to to squash those rumors it, it, it didn't help at all well boy everywhere he go he was getting it left right and center which basically was like digging a hole because his whole attitude and demeanor and approach to everything just drastically started to change because he you know you know thinking that he did something that would have, that a lot of people would have been able to relate to in a positive manner is now backfiring at him in a very negative way. Anybody that knows Patsy knows that Patsy is a very private person. So when all the, the chats started to raise now, people saying, you know, how can you do that? And, you know, he just had a daughter with her. And, you know, he, he's acknowledging that, that, you know, he's celebrating that they're separated. And, uh, like, it was so messed up. People, it left a really, really bad taste in people's mouth. And the image that we had worked so hard to 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 portray which at that point in time was a squeaky clean image um it started to get tainted left and right i remember him releasing the song um video and song and viewing the comments seeing people saying certain things people calling me and i mean i wouldn't lie a, a, a little bit a little part of me really thought this song was for me. Um, when people started calling, I mean, I didn't, I kind of shoot them down because I, you know, with, with things like that, it comes drama. So I would say, I just said, hey, I don't want to hear. You know, we spoke about it and it's not about me. It seemed like the controversy was helping the song because the song started to play a lot, a lot. A lot. And I don't know if the powers that be got wind of it and said, well, 
we're not going to let Ricardo disrespect Patrice, but all of a sudden, the song just stopped playing. And it went from, yeah, this is a, a cool song, I like this song, to, yo, I hate this song. Like, why would you do such a, such a thing? The comments on the YouTube started to become horrendous. Like, people were just saying, yo, why? How could you do this? This is so messed up. People started to assume that the, the, the animated character, because we did an animated video with Rambunction. In this particular case, for the breakup song, I just kept it simple. The whole concept of a boy and a girl who have ended the relationship in a less than favorable manner and the acrimony that might surround that. Around the time of that particular song, there was also the um, issue or the murmurs, if you would like, about Ricardo Drew and Patrice Roberts and are they, aren't they? So I knew that there would always be speculation surrounding the visual because it featured an animated Ricardo Drew and a mystery lady who everyone was saying was looking uncannily like Patrice. Nevertheless, I did not draw that female character in Patrice's likeness. Even though the speculation abounds, it was actually based off of a leading lady in another Drew production for a song called Holding On. All right, so it's not Patsy, <laughs> just to be clear. That year was a terrible year to me, Ricardo Drew. Uh, people not reacting how they normally react to his performances. They, they, they reached our stage later on in the season where shows were being cancelled and um, if it wasn't cancelled, then there didn't have much people in, in the event. I got people just, they started to eat me alive. They ate me alive. I, I in my entire career, I had never gone through something so severe I couldn't believe it like I went from being this good person this you know likable person to the, like one of the most hated men in the industry um, and I I didn't know what to do I had no clue what to do so the Trinidad Entertainment Fraternity they, they kind of gave my little, a little cold shoulder and he couldn't he being the nice guy that he is he couldn't he couldn't accept the fact that these people these industry acquaintances that he would like to call friends wasn't really friends nah, and they, they started showing the true colors nah, and he watched his team and, and support support structure in China that go from 30 the season before to, to, to 3 or 4 you understand it, it just it dwindled severely and all them kind of things was playing on his mental like you know what the fuck I do so bad that all my friends is, is not my friends really you know so yeah it was a hard lesson to learn but it is, it's, it's one that unfortunately the nice guys is hard to learn learn the hard way i reached out to patrice i was like patrice i, I need your help I, I need i need I, we need to do something something needs to be done but at this point patsy and i are not in a in a, in a really healthy place so she didn't necessarily feel like one it was her place to do anything and two um why why do I how do I put this I guess she just wanted to remain private but at this point in time she had already received the calls people were calling her artists were calling her industry people were calling her and they were asking her how could I do such a thing and all I wanted her to do was say hey it's not for me and in certain cases she did in other cases she decided to stay quiet I'm not gonna lie to you, I I was personally upset because I felt like like it could have been controlled. But I guess in hindsight it, it was my fault for even I just didn't see it. I, I didn't see that people would have could tied Patrice, Lily, and the breakup song together. I didn't see it at all. So at this point in time I'm in a mess creatively. I don't know what else to do. 
I am going through the season. I'm going through the season. I'm, I'm, I'm just riding through it. I'm depressed. I'm frustrated. Um, and I'm just heavy. My team around me is starting to fall apart. People are starting to hear the negativity and all these people that I was making money with in 14, 15, 16, and early 17, they just start to disappear. The team starts to go from 30 people to about 10. And I have no clue what to do to fix this. So I say to myself, you know, maybe maybe it's time to, to bury the breakup song. So I completely just, I just let it go. I give up on it, whatever. Forget this song. This song is causing me too much pain. So I let it go and I start to look for new music. And I send this rhythm to a writer. He sends me back a song two days after and it goes, let the bumping start, 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 start. There's a whole heap of drama behind the song that is so long to explain. <laughs> 